Hello and welcome to Clinics MD Scanning. Today what I'm going to take you through is how to scan into our system. The first step you're going to do is search for the patient you want to scan the document for. There are a couple different ways you can select a patient. The first way is there's an icon at the very top here with a blonde lady. When you hover over it with your mouse it says select patient. Or you can go up to patient at the top menu and hit select patient. Then you can go ahead and search for your patient using any of this criteria. You can search by last name, first name, social security number, even date of birth. You don't have to type in the full name. You can even just type in a part of the name before you search. I'm going to go ahead and search for my test patient. Once I type in the last name, I go ahead and hit the search button on the top right hand corner. It's going to bring up every patient who has test in their last name. What I'm then going to do is select my Allison Test MD patient because that's who I want to scan into, and I'm going to go ahead and create an encounter. Then I'll hit select. What it'll do is it'll go ahead and select my patient, and then it'll bring up a box to allow me to create a brand new encounter. From here, I'm going to go ahead and select the contracted provider that this patient sees. If there's a healthcare provider, like a nurse practitioner, I'll select their name. Then the visit type, I'm going to go ahead and select document scanning, because I'm just going to be scanning in any various documents. Place of service is office, you'll select your location, and it's an established patient. I also can put notes in the comments area, maybe give it more details about what document I'm actually scanning in, and then make sure my encounter date and time are correct. Once my criteria for the new encounter is complete, I'm just going to hit OK in the lower right hand corner. It'll then start to bring up my encounter. Once the encounter is brought up, I want to go to the images tab that you can see right here on the left hand side. From here, I can go ahead and not only review any images that are in this encounter, but also that's the place where we'll go ahead and scan into. First thing I'm going to do is hit add. It's going to bring up the whole list of descriptions of where I want to go ahead and file away the images that I'm scanning in. I'm just going to go ahead and select the one that I'm scanning in. I then can change the image date if I want to. I can put in any kind of description as well as any notes. I then go ahead and select scan at the top of the screen. It's then going to go ahead and talk to my scanner that's attached to my computer. I have a simple bed scanner that takes a little bit longer to scan documents into the system. You'll probably have a bed feeding scanner. Now that I've gone ahead and scanned in my document, this is the screen that will pop up. I have my document that I've scanned in. I have all the criteria that I've already filled out before scanning this document. From here, I can rotate my image if I so choose to. I can also go ahead and page through any number of pages for the document. Again, just like with that calendar and the patient locator, you just have the single arrow to go by page, and the arrow with the line attached to it will go to either the very back of the document or the very front of the document. From here, if everything looks good that I've scanned in, all I have to do is hit save, and it'll go ahead and save that document right into my image tab. If I wanted to go back into this scan document and make more changes or scan more documents in, I can then simply hit edit. It'll bring up my page again, and from here, I can go ahead and scan more in or even import stuff in. If I wanted to go ahead and import an electronic file into the image tab instead of scanning, I would go through the same steps. I'd hit add at the top of the screen. I'd select what I'm going to go ahead and import in. I can still change the image date, add description and notes. And instead of hitting the scan button at the top of the screen, I can simply hit import. What it'll do is bring up the file path in which I want to go ahead and select the document that I want to go ahead and scan in. select it and hit open. It then puts your electronic file right into the same window that we had when we scanned in. You can then import more. You can scan from here. Again, you can rotate. 
The other thing that you can do is actually resequence the pages. So for example, if I import my document in again, now you can see I have one of two pages. Okay. Now if I wanted to go ahead and resequence, I would simply hit the resequence button and it brings up each page with your sequence numbers. This way, you can take that stack of scanned documents, scan them all in or import them in, and then if one happens to be out of the wrong, it's out of order, all you have to do is go ahead and resequence it within Clinics MD instead of having to delete the facts completely, resequence with your own hands and rescan it in. So how the sequence numbers work are they go by tens. If I wanted page 2 to be page 1, I would simply delete out the number 20 and type in a number that comes before 10, so 5, and hit enter on my keyboard. It then goes ahead and resequences the pages. When you're done resequencing the pages, all you have to do is again hit save, and it'll save your second document in here as well. And you can see one of two, you can page right through them. If I wanted to go ahead and annotate on an electronic form, let's say a consent form, authorization form, all I would have to do is go through the same steps, hit add, select what I'm going to go ahead and annotate on, and instead of hitting scan or import, I'm going to go ahead and hit select image. What this will do is it will bring up the entire list of images that you have already in your system to utilize, and you can go ahead and select which image you want to use. Do I want both pages? Do I want to include all or just one? And now here's the image ready to go. If I wanted to go ahead and annotate directly on this image, like let's say if I had a tablet computer and I wanted the patient to sign the consent form right in the room, you then hit this little annotate icon, select your ink, and then you can go ahead and have them sign or fill out any of the areas that you want. Once they're done annotating on the image, you simply hit save, and it'll save that annotated image right into their chart. From here, you can always print any of these forms out that you want to give them a copy. You also can fax any of these images as well. When you have completed all of your scanning, importing, any annotating that you're doing in this screen, what you want to do is close the encounter. Since it's just for document scanning, when all of your documents are scanned in for this specific patient, for this specific stack of images, all you have to do is hit close encounter in the lower left corner, make sure that close encounter is checked off, and select OK. It'll then close your encounter off. Then you can just move right on to your next patient that you want to scan in for. Thank you very much for attending this scanning training. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact your implementation manager. Thank you.